But I wanted to show you some um, arpeggios that are helpful to incorporate into your playing. A lot of gypsy players use these. Um, let's start with a, a major sound, C6. So we use this arpeggio, it's C. C6 sound, they're sort of the same voices. Or really pretty. Um, I would learn it all over different, you know, chords that you use. But you know, for like a blues, okay. So that's one. Another one is uh, this one for, uh, and these are just three note groupings. G arpeggio. little cells and the neat thing about those is you can move voicings across fairly easily position uh, Sebastian Junot has used this in some of his play and I've heard and what this does it gives you some momentum uh, that hammering About this quote major form, it's also um, E minor seven. And this C shape can also be played just over A minor. I mean. That's kind of neat. One other shape. This is over a, a dominant sound. This is can be used over a C7. It can also be used over G minor. can be used over E half diminished. And when you sort of think about it, you stack the voices on paper, C, G minor, E half diminished are kind of the same thing. This is a E minor half diminished. It's also a, a G minor six. That's kind of confusing to you. It took me a little bit to get it, but you know, autumn leaves. It works really 
well. So let's get that one. It's uh... so. minor two fives, I'm gonna just throw this in quickly. If you go up a minor third with this, shift works so perfectly. So any lick, you know, say on E minor, half diminish that minor two five. I just think that's fascinating that it works on all of those. One more time. Sneaking into autumn leaves, um, honeysuckle rose. Major and minor sounds that are neat. Mm -hmm. 